The cast is so extraordinary because, first of all, we have some alums from Broadway, which yeah. is very unusual for a tour. They just love the show so much they wanted to do it, and we're so grateful that they're here. You know, they're fantastic. And the rest of the company is as fresh as a daisy. They are so joyous and, and unified. You can see it. We saw a run through yesterday, and, and it's the, the fun that they're having is, is so apparent. So it's, it's just going to be great to send it across America. Hopefully by the end of the night, they will see that we are all part of the human heart. We are all share the same desires, the same needs, the same wants, same hopes and dreams. And so hopefully what this show does is make us feel like we're all one. One of the cool things about our show is that we will have 60 audience members on the stage with yes. us. Actually with their toes in the sand, just like us. <laughs> um, up close and personal in our world and you come into this space, you come into our island. Mm -hmm. I think they can expect an escape. Um, um, it's like a little vacation to the theater, <laughs> to once on this island yeah. um, you can really witness all the elements, the rain, the fire, Asaka's cooking um, and I think, I think it's just going to be an escape for people to just let everything go and witness this, this beautiful story of this peasant girl that just doesn't take no for an answer. I love the electric rhythms and the pulsating energy that you receive through the through the dancing. I love the fact that you see the resilience of a community and the resourcefulness of coming together and, and how they clean up after the storm, but they don't just clean up, they repurpose. What is old is made new again. And and that is kind of the whole arc of the story. We got to the end.